Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, Jack the Mind Sculptor here with another round of Holiday Cube. We are in round three, basically the finals. Uh, yes, I would like to play first. This hand is... it's actually not bad. It's not the best, but we have Acceleration into Kozilek, so let's go ahead and keep it. Sheldock Isle's a little awkward, but I think we go uh, turn one Noble Hierarch into turn two Mana Vault. Actually, turn two Mindstone into Mana Vault. Actually, this hand's perfect. Yeah, because this comes in play tapped, but then we can play uh, tap two for Mindstone, tap that for one for Mana Vault. We're looking good here. And I know he doesn't have Mana Tithe. Future Damp. Ooh. Is he playing Reanimator? Alright. Uh, Exhum is something we're going to have to watch out for. So this turn, I, I still think we should be accelerating. And then next turn, we can play a little bit careful once our... Um, because we have Tooth and Nail in Kozilek right now. So yeah, let's uh, choose Balance. Alright, so let's go ahead and accelerate. Because, I mean, we could have a really bad time if he Exhumes. Um, we can be just super careful and remand, but, you know, that's just going to delay it by one turn, so let's go ahead and play Man Mind Stone, tap out for Mana Vault, alright. Alright, no discards yet, so we're looking okay. Let's see, we have one, two... Five, six. We only have seven mana right now. What's he got? Eh, that's actually okay. He's gonna get to equip it next turn, but. Alright, we got Trigon Predator. We could sacrifice Mind Stone, which we might need to do because we don't have much going on. Yeah, I'm not that afraid of the milling. Um, but if we want to hold remand mana up, we only have access to two mana right now, which is kind of bad. Or, I mean, we could just tap mana vault in an emergency. Yeah, not drawing a land is really bad for us right now. So, the play is basically either Trigon Predator. Yeah, I mean... I think we just have to cast Trigon Predator here. And then if we super need to remand something, we'll remand it. Because this is going to kill his sort of body and mind. Or at least leave Putra Imp back on defense. If he does nothing but equip, I'm actually kind of fine with that. Yep. <laughs> he milled our Emrakul, so everything gets shuffled. Yeah, the funny thing about having a, an Eldrazi type deck is any mill strategy just doesn't work at all. So now hopefully he doesn't have removal for our Trigon Predator. We can get rid of his sort of body and mind. If he has some kind of kill spell for Trigon, I actually think it's going to be worth free manning here. We're not in any position to cast Kozlek yet. Yep, yeah, that's... Let me get remanded. This way we also get to draw a card. So I mean, we're taking one damage next turn, but that's... That's fine. Ooh. Okay, uh, it's time for Eureka. <laughs> Might be a bit risky, but we'll see. Uh, 
Okay, um, that's actually really nice. Our Eureka is going to be really good. So let's go ahead and just attack in with Trigon Predator here. Get rid of that sword. Mox Ruby might be valid too, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and just cast Eureka and see who has better drops. He has four cards, you could have lost stuff, but... I mean, Putrid Imp and Sword of Body Mine. Thragtus, yeah, that's fine. Alright. Yep, I'm unfortunately out of stuff. We'll see if he has any more stuff. Or is off Signet? That's okay. I have some pretty good blockers here, so... <laughs> Alright, it all depends on what his uh, last card is. We know our last opponent had Upheaval. Um, the only thing we would be weak right now to is uh, any Wrath of God. This guy definitely might have them, because he has uh, the double white now. Alright, it's Path of Exile. That's, that's good too, I guess. Uh, Search Lab. Yeah, I'll, I'll get some basic land. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure we win now. There's... I mean, we have Emrakul. He's gonna have to sacrifice six permanents. He can chump block with Putrid Imp. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and untap. Mana Vault now, too. Alright, we'll get in with Emrakul. <laughs> Exalted Emrakul, even. He's gonna get rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, and then chump block with Putrid Imp. Yeah, so some pretty hard choices here. I mean, Thrag Tusky has to attack Christ here, so it's three, four, five, and Wolf probably six. So that's going to leave him with two lands and a beast. Ooh. All right, he's just going to sacrifice all of his lands. That's fine with me. Kind of weird. I guess he's trying to out damage me or something, but I do have blockers. And I mean, he can't kill me this turn, and next turn he's just going to have a beast. Yep, fuck up. Alright, so Eureka doing some work here. Um, looks like he's a samurai aggro deck. He's just playing a lot of creatures. Uh, Shackles might be pretty good. He did have some creatures more than two power, but. Yeah, actually, no, Rechargers are not going to be good. I think we, we have a good deck as is, so let's go ahead and submit the deck. Alright, here we are with uh, Game 2 of uh, the Finals. This hand is not bad. Um, we need some win conditions, but we have... Well, we actually have Bounce Spanna and Artifacts. Actually, it's a great way to keep control, so... Let's uh, vomit out our hand and then cast Bounce. Ooh, even... Basalt Monolith, even. Okay.
Uh, let's see, just untapping my pre pre. I mean, we, we could actually just vomit out all of our uh, mana artifacts and just have them not untap, but it's probably not the best use of uh, resources. Especially, uh, I want to see next turn if we can draw a blue source, we can just keep up uh, mana drain mana, and then use the mana drain mana to cast our monoliths. All right, Signet's actually pretty good. I do not need to untap my mana vault. All right, Shaman's okay, but we don't have anything to discard to it yet, so let's just go ahead and tap this to play a Grim Monolith. And then, eh, just go ahead and just tap this to play the Salt Monolith. And then we can pass the turn. So, I mean, Grim Monolith is not going to tap, but I just want to get my hand out onto the battlefield. Avalanche Riders, ooh. That's yeah, pretty annoying. Probably gonna get my Brushland here. Yep. So there goes my bounce plans. And I only have blue mana now. So actually in a little bit of trouble now. But if I somehow draw Krakus off the top, I can bounce and just get rid of all this stuff. And if I have nothing else to do, I can just untap Grim Monolith. All right, Remand. That's not helping much. Well, it's going to let me remand what he plays next, unless he just uh, does Avalanche Riders. We're not under tremendous pressure here. It's just an Avalanche Riders. Okay, so, and he's not even going to do that, so... Yeah, definitely going to remand whatever he plays here. Hopefully we can get some green mana or white mana to bounce. That would work fine too. Uh, let's see. I can remand that. He's going to get to put it back in his hand and then just redo that. Yeah. I just need to cast remand now, though, so I can um, use the blue mana and then draw a card. All right, got the green mana at least. So interesting. I wonder if he's gonna animate dead now with Orzhov Signet. Alright. So he's gonna get our island. Apparently this guy is just all land destruction. <laughs> Rider gets us pretty good. We had a pretty low land draw. So something to keep in mind. We had a lot of artifacts, but not a lot of land. Alright, Emery Cool is not where I want to be. Um, yeah, it's, I think we just play Force and say go. I mean, we could cast Fauna Shaman this turn. Actually, no, yeah, I think we need to cast Fauna Shaman this turn. 
And then next turn we'll be able to, um, if we don't draw land, we can discard and then at least get some uh, Birds of Paradise onto the field or something. <laughs> We're using up all of our artifacts, but kind of need to. And like I said, if we draw Caracas here, that's pretty good for us. Direct us. Okay, that's that's a bit of a clock. Ooh, has me a little bit worried. Yep, taking one damage here. Sylvan Lyrae, okay. Not the best. All right, let's go ahead and start Emrakul. And search for Emrakul. No, probably not. Um, yeah, just need to get our Birds of Paradise here. Yeah, Riders into Animate Dead is pretty, uh, pretty good against us. So he has uh, 5 damage per turn, he's going to entomb something good, it looks like. Yeah, he is a reanimator deck. He was playing Putrid Imp, he has Animate Dead. And if he has a way to animate the Angel of Despair here, I'm pretty much just dead. I'm gonna scoop. But otherwise we can take about 3 hits from the Thrak Tusk. Oh, actually, uh, we can only take two hits from the Thrak Tusk, so we have Mana Vault out in here. Alright, so at least we did draw a land. Go ahead and play our Birds of Paradise here. We can play our Misty Rainforce. Then I think I actually just want to keep Fauna Shaman back to Chump Block. <laughs> Next turn, if nothing else, we have some... We could bounce, but that wouldn't actually help us that much. Because he'll still have Thrag Tusk. Alright, Rift Wing Clouds Gate is fine. Alright, let's see. We can Green Sun Zenith for a Mana Dork. We can get Lotus Cobra. But that costs three. We can bounce, but that'll take us down to zero cards in hand, and it does nothing against his Thrag Tusk. Um, yeah, we actually just need a way to start untapping our lands, really. Or, sorry, our artifact mana. But for now, I think we actually just need to start getting mana dorks. Uh, yeah, we have Noble Hierarch. We can green some for Noble Hierarch. Check, take a hit of five. <laughs> and then see, he has... Two turns till Cloudscape. Alright, we're going down to four here. We pretty much just need to win the next turn and hope he has nothing right now. Alright, he's tapping something big.
Oh, that seems to be an X spell. Shinx of the Steel Wind, sure. Alright, yep, looks like we are dead, so let's go ahead and concede this game. Yeah, so he's this reanimator control, basically. Uh, that random avalanche rider is really what got us. Uh, let's see, if Fox Sight, yeah, I mean, there's not much to sideboard against or, you know, with him. Counter spells are good, maybe memory lapse, but we just basically got a combo out before he does. All right, we'll play first. Um, let's see, yeah, this, this is not bad. We have green sun zenith, so. That'll help us get out our Art Mana Dudes, and then we can just get into two for now. So, let's go ahead and Shell Dock Isle. First turn. Um, yeah, I don't... I actually want a Green Sun Zen for Noble Hierarch, so let's just get that. And then pass the turn. Yeah, sometimes you miss with Shell Dock Isle. Search for a forest. Green Sun Santa for one. Get a Birds of Paradise and F6. Uh, unfortunately, playing against a Reanimator deck, we might be taking a huge risk if we play Eureka. So I kind of want to keep it safe, play Tooth and Nail. Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah. So we actually can Eureka next turn. Alright, so Sword of Body and Mind is fine. Um, but I mean, if he has it, he has it. Let's just go ahead and go for the gold here. Inkwell Leviathan, sure. We're, we're basically just hoping Emrakul is better than whatever he plays. Oh, that's the only permanent he has. Nice. Yeah, it looks like he, all he did was put Inkwell. Oh, Treachery. Okay. Alright, that's game. <laughs> yeah, Treachery is a good card. So. Alright, so yeah, that was uh, Holiday Cube. Once again, losing in the finals. I got past Bribery, but I could not get past Treachery. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, this is Jack of Mindscoper signing out.